In this video, we'll look at how we can use songs and work with them in ProPresenter 7, as well as a few other features that are quite useful to know regarding songs. Let's get started. Once we're in ProPresenter, we're going to go and look at some songs. Now, I have all of the sample material provided by Renewed Vision that you can install when you download ProPresenter 7. If you're not sure how to get that, go back and watch our other video talking about the layout and the interface of ProPresenter, and it explains how you can get that sample material. So what I've done since then is I've put all of my songs in a library called Songs, and down here, I have all of my songs located. So you'll notice that all of these songs have been provided with the sample material, except for this one called The Blessing, and it looks a little bit different. The reason being is all of these other songs are grouped into choruses and verses and labelled. So you can do that if you bring in your songs from Song Select directly and import them from there, it will do that for you. Or you can bring in your own lyrics and songs and then label them yourself. So this song called The Blessing, I brought in just copying and pasting it from the internet and it doesn't have any labels. Now I'm no song expert, but we're just going to add some labels here, even if they might not be correct for the song. So what we can do is if I choose the first slide, I right click on it and I choose group and I might label it as verse one. Now you'll notice straight away ProPresenter labels everything as verse one. So what it actually does is similar to media, if you apply a group to it, it'll keep everything in the same group until the next group starts. So let's just go to this slide here and let's say that that is the chorus. And so you'll see it takes everything after that. Let's label this one verse two and we might make this one here the bridge and we might make this one the chorus again. Now I know that's probably not right for that song, but it just gives us an idea of how we can label things. So we've actually put groups in there into our song and we've made them verse, chorus, etc. Now we're going to go and use a different song for this that's labeled correctly, but just to try and give you an idea of how it works. What we want to do is we want to sometimes have the option to have the song in a different order because sometimes the worship team might want to repeat the bridge a couple of times, or sometimes the person coming on after worship might say, hey, can we replay that section there after that? And let's just have those lyrics again. Now, instead of rearranging all of our slides and copying and pasting slides, what we can do is we can keep a master copy of the song, so the normal original copy, and then we can create alternate arrangements. And so that allows us to have multiple different versions of the same song within ProPresenter without having to clog up our songs over here and say, call it nothing else version one, nothing else version two, nothing else version three, and have lots of titles of the same song in different versions. So how do we do that? And how do we do it quickly and easily? Well, if I go up the top right hand corner here, this is our song bar for our song. So when we're in a presentation, what I mean by song bar is it's like the title bar of this part of our presentation. And I click on arrangement. What it will show you is all of the groups. Now, what we can do is we can decide to make a new arrangement. Now you'll notice this one is tagged as the master and it says master, select an arrangement to customize presentation flow. So I can go new arrangement and I might call it chorus Sorry, my typing is terrible. Repeated at the end or at end for now. And so what we do is we have our chorus, we have our verse, we have our chorus, we have our bridge, and then I can just click and drag and it moves my chorus to the end. Now, is that what I want? Not really, because I want my chorus to stay there. But if I go and take from the top here, it will add another chorus. So now I have my chorus, my verse, my verse, my bridge, and my chorus at the end. If I wanted to go my bridge again, I just take from the top and put it there. If I wanted to move my bridge in between verse one and two, it's that simple and easy. 
And so that there is now my new arrangement. How do I use that in my presentation? Well, if I go to my Sunday 9 a.m. playlist that I have here, and I'm going to go and swap out my song. So we have songs, nothing else. We're going to put it in Sunday at 9 a.m. And I'm going to put it as my worship song here and delete another in the fire. Remember, if I'm in a playlist, it's not actually deleting that. It's just taking it out of here. But we can still find that deleted song in our songs library. All right, so I have nothing else. And in brackets here, it says chorus repeated at end. That is the name of the arrangement. If I wanted the original, I'm just going to right click on that, go arrangement, and I'm back to my master straight away. So there's no chorus repeated at the end. Arrangement, chorus repeated at end. There it is. And back to the original. So I can actually edit it from here. So if you're preparing for church and the worship team decides they're going to change the song up a little bit and we're just in that hour or two before church we just go straight into arrangement ask them what they're going to repeat oh we want the chorus at the end oh and i've done it here you'll notice i'm rearranging because i'm in the master copy i will just go new arrangement and i might even call it sunday the 11th of the first okay chorus at the end bridge at the end bridge at the end that's what they've asked for and I'm done and ready to go with all the lyrics correct it's a really quick and easy way to do it and it even says over here that this is the arrangement I'm using so that if it's next week and I'm a little bit confused and I can't remember what version I'm after I can change it back to my master copy so a couple things there with arrangements the other thing that we're going to look at is how we can automate slides in songs. So to automate slides in songs, what we want to do is I'm just going to go back to my song so it's only my song showing up here. So let's go to nothing else and let's go to the master arrangement. We can record our slide movements and transitions as we played the song if we'd like to. Now, I don't have this song on my computer. So I'm just going to give you a little bit of a quick demonstration so that it gives you an opportunity to go away and play with it. You can also do this for things like talking or anywhere that you have an audio track playing in the background and then you want your slides to automatically change at different points of that. So what do we do to do that? Well, we're going to go up the top here to timeline and you'll see here it will give us an audio track and it will give us a timeline. And so it goes to 15 seconds there at the moment. So what we could do is we could drag our audio track into there and then we click play and it sort of gives us an opportunity to have a play with it and listen and change our slides as we go. The other thing we can do is we can record. So if I had my song playing, I could then go and record and what it does is as I click through my slides, wherever I click, the next slide, it's going to record those cues and whereabouts they were cued. And we could go through and automatically automate all of our songs if we wish to. Now it's pretty quick and easy because we don't have to remember what times they were, we just go through and do it with our music playing in the background. And I can then go and click stop at the end. Now, we can also, afterwards, if we're not completely happy, move them a little bit. So I might go and replay this and I'll be like, oh, Q2, it's a little bit out. Okay, that's okay. Let's stop that. And we'll just bring it forward a little bit. Q3, maybe forward a smidge. This one might need to go back and I'm just clicking and dragging. But it's a really easy way to automate your slides if you need to automate your slides as well. And so... To play this, I will just go in and I just click play and it's just going to go through and show me again how to do it and where everything's up to. So you'll see there it is changing down here and it's changing in my preview window. So that's one quick and easy way to automate your slides if you wish to without too much work ahead of time in terms of time and effort. Yes, there is some work in getting it right, but Instead of having to remember all your times and changes and make a video or something similar, it records it as you go. 
Hopefully you found this useful. Let us know in the comments if you've got any questions and we'll keep trying to make more tutorials for you as well. Thanks guys.